Okay. Guys, I want to show you a little trick, okay? People make a big deal out of small things. So I thought I would show you on this here. This is just an old guitar blank thing that I've got here. You can see that it's half disassembled. But what I'm going to show you is how to remove the bridge pin and the tailpiece pin and then take a plug and plug it with the minimal of tools. I'll show you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do, replace, replace, just pull out the tail stop, the bridge. So you got the pins sticking up, right? So now you don't want to mess up the body of the guitar. You can do it many different ways. I find it pretty easy. You can just use a regular, just use your regular cry bar. The longer the handle, the easier it is to work. If you have a short one, it works just the same. But here's what I do. Tail pin. Take you some kind of piece of wood. Something that won't mess up the finish on your guitar. You can even put a, a rag or something under it. Something between. Take you a rag or whatever. And put it between so it doesn't mess up your guitar. Put your wooden block there. And you notice where the, where the tail stop goes. You can hook right in there. And then it's just as simple. Pull it up. And you have it out. So then you have the hole. So let me show you. This is, this is a 3 8 wooden dowel. It's just a wooden dowel like you get at Walmart. Nothing fancy. Try to go with the hardwood. You'll find maple, oak, all kinds. Go with the hardwoods. Don't go with the pine. And then find you something that you can put it in like a slot. Okay? That way you hold it still when you're cutting it. Now this, this saw right here is a flush cut saw. Don't, this right here didn't come on it. I put this on it. Don't, don't even look at that. You can get this at Harbor Freight. Now this only cuts in one direction. When you pull back, that's when it cuts. So just put it on, try to line it up as best you can, and make sure that you don't cut it much longer than the hole is deep. So measure your hole, and then make your cut. So we're going to pull. Okay. Turn it just a little. Put it back in the slot. Pull. Put it back into the slot, pull, and just keep doing that till you get this cut completely off. And then when you get it cut completely off, and, and don't hit your pup. Come here, pup. You got my plug. Okay, you have your plug. Okay. Now. Here's what I suggest. Take you a piece of really rough sandpaper. Take you a piece of really rough sandpaper and sand it down to get all the roughness off of one side. You can do it on both sides if you choose. But you kind of round it out just a little bit. Just kind of rounding it out. You can do both sides if you want. Just kind of round it out. But then, just take your plug. Put it at your hole. You know, that sounds funny. But just kind of put it where it's looking. If I can keep it from sticking to my fingers, I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, you're going to say, oh, man. That feels a lot bigger than the hole. And it is. You don't even need glue to do this work. Okay. Got it kind of balanced in there. You, now you see how much trouble I'm having. So you can see this. This is the trick right here. You just kind of get that up in there. Get it balanced. I'm showing you. You're, you're seeing this for. Okay. Balanced. Take your block of wood. And a hammer. I use a shop machinist hammer. You don't have to. You can use a regular hammer. 
take your block of wood, put it right on top, right on top. Now, try not to go below the guitar's body. It's going to be kind of rough, but see, then you will take a block and sandpaper, and then at that point, you can do the, the finish work on it. But you can see it's plugged. That plug is not coming out. Okay, now I'll show you real quick on the bridge pin. If you notice... This bridge pin is run all the way down. So just run it back just enough, just enough that you can get your lever under it. Comes right out. Now, I've already got this one ready to go, same way as the one before, same size, it's a 3 8 also. Put it in there, get it as level looking as you can get it, just like before. We're going to put our block on it. And don't drive it down below the body of the guitar. Those plugs will not come out. You do not need glue. And all you have to do is finish sanding. And you got it plugged. Guys, piece of wood, a saw, hammer. That's it. That's it. And it's done. Plugged. Done. So, there you go. Check you later.